Hola! Annyeonghaseyo! Konnichiwa! Hello! This is the Badass Wives of Costa Rica. Welcome to our first episode. This Yay. is Sayaka. This is Miwa. Since this is our very first episode, I am going to tell you a bit more about our channel. The Badass Wife of Costa Rica are like a gang of superwomen living it up in the land of Pura Vida. These women from all over the world share their adventures, daily routines, and thoughts on everything from marriage to monkeys. They give you a look into the wildlife in Costa Rica and their take on local culture and traditions, all with a side of humor. Think of it as a tropical reality show with a twist. It's like the real housewives, but with more bikinis, iguanas, and less drama. These women are all about cutting the BS and living fully in the moment. Join them on the wild adventures in the land of internal summer as they embellish life to the fullest. So sit back, grab a coconut, and enjoy the ride with these badass wives in beautiful Costa Rica! Today is my 48th birthday and my girlfriends are having my birthday party at Patagonia in Prince Rito, my favorite steakhouse. Who are you? You look Oh my nice. goodness, who's Thank this? Thank you so much. What's so going on? Oh By the way, this is Brian. Say hello. Hi, Brian. Hi. You have your own paparazzi now. <laughs> Ooh. This is too classy for me. Okay. I'm the beer, soju, sake kind of girl. Why well, I love champagne, especially with caviars. Let's do the birthday girl. Okay. Cheers to the birthday girl. Oh, wait, 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 I feel bad. Fight it, fight Perfect timing, buddy. Now we can party. Is it wrong that we are drinking at 8 in the morning? Do we have a problem? Never in Costa Rica. Oh my gosh, you guys are too sweet. So here I'm telling my girlfriends that I'm starting my new YouTube channel and they are gonna be in it. And I'm also filming it at this moment. But they didn't seem to be so surprised and then they're happy about it, looks like. So, move on. I know you guys know her, but she will be my host for the show. So I'm gonna have her introduce herself, um, and then I, will I just wanted to share with you Sayaka's vision of the channel, um, which is and she wanted to create a virtual community of sisterhood where we speak frankly, honestly about good and bad of Costa Rica and our experiences and life in general. Good because job, Miwa. Tell them. Yeah. All right, Sayaka, your turn. Okay. So I've been here six years. And I'm from Japan, but grew up in America. <laughs> but no, you know why I came to Costa Rica? Because I was in Macau before here, Macau, China, next to uh, Hong Kong. And we got hit by a huge storm. And my, ooh, my food, my building um, I was living in, I was in like 18 story. It was moving like this. And this was 2000, I want to say 16. And I said to Ian, my husband, I am going somewhere where it's safe. And I researched, I went to Philippines, Thailand, Bali, you know, anywhere around yeah. Asia just because I'm from Japan. But you know what, Costa Rica, just because my friend I worked with was Costa Rican. And he brought me here and I was like, this is it. I, okay, okay. okay. Well, my name is Melanie. Uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, me and my husband uh, lived there. We had a place in Chopsil Island, which is the beach, but it's the same kind of weather. So, if you're uh, so we just uh, we weren't actually planning to move here. A friend of ours was building the hotel, uh, the 360 hotel, oh. and oh, invited okay, Ed Polak. Okay, okay. Yeah, Ed Podolak, and uh, he invited us down. So we decided to take advantage of it. Joe's been here before. I hadn't been here before. So we go and we're like, all right, let's do a grand tour. So we get a Haka. We go all over the place and end in Playa Flamingo. And he shows us around and he showed us a really a great time. And it, it wasn't really me so much as Joe's like, oh. You know, uh, let's, let's look around. Let's call. You know, I really want to know yeah, what kind of good time she had. Yeah, okay. Hi. Okay. The reason I came here is, um, well, I was born in Where California. Yeah. I was born in California, Southern California. Um, but my mother Costa Rican, my father Honduran, 
uh, grandparents also okay, Italian, she's everything. El Salvadorian. So the reason I came to Costa Rica was when I was 14 years old, I really didn't have a choice. Do you think she I was kidnapped? Because Maybe we should report this. Oh, hi, However, so. uh, born and raised in Winnipeg, hated it, moved to Calgary, spent 30 years there in Canada. And then woo, 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 woo. Woo. <laughs> my, uh, my aunt and uncle sort of paved the way because they moved to Costa Rica, Surfside actually, oh. um, about 20 years ago or so. Oh, and I they spent 15 that. years here and then some Oh my God, he was a political fugitive and, or maybe even a cartel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so my husband and I, current husband, we got married here. We came for holiday. We went to uh, Manuel Antonio, Caicos area, and she sounds so prim and proper right Rondo. now. I don't so recognize her. Who is this person? So we packed everything up, sold the house, got the kids in the university, and settled. It's all meant to be. That's it. That's it. And no regrets. My name is Shelley. I was born in Georgia and oh. moved from Charleston, South Carolina. I was there for about 18 years. Um, for me, moving wasn't about, like, there wasn't anything that I didn't like. There wasn't anything that I was trying to get away from. We had, a, like, perfect life. I just wanted something different. I wanted a more simple life. I wanted a life where you're more connected to nature. Um, I teach yoga. I had a yoga studio. You know, she it. talks um, and like the so enlightened me, yoga about, guru that she is. Uh, I've never heard simplify. anybody describe um, their life as just like perfect, really living life even when it is perfect because we tend to be that negative. To do or that so that's awesome. So we sold our home that we had just built, all of our belongings, gave everything away and came with two dogs, two suitcases, two golf bags. Um, well, my name is Fatiniza. I'm a singer songwriter from Colombia. I left Colombia when I was really young. I went to live in, well, I started traveling in Europe, Asia, and then I settled myself in Dubai for 16 years. We had our kids. They so she travels the world, ends up in Dubai, um, and meets her Irish husband. But you know what? Who, when, that was meant to be. How many stars have to line up for that to happen? He had an opportunity to buy his own dive center in Costa Rica, and I said, do it, because I can do music, whatever I want to do, you know what I mean? And I'm not attached to material things. So like you, Shelly, we just get rid of everything. And we brought well, we brought our home stuff, and we we piled it up in a, this really tiny Costa Rican house, and we were living the life, the yes, paradise life, and living paradise. paradise. Yes. 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 Um, and uh, I decided to come. I decided to leave Canada. I, I hate the cold, and oh, I was feeling horrible, and you know, skin issues. You've been here. Right. In Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. She's the newbie. Oh, Seven months. And so I decided on Costa Rica because I thought, well, I want like a lower cost of living, but a lot of sun, a stability, but high standard of living. Boy, yeah, where did I you wrong. get that information? <laughs> Fake so news. When, uh, when I was here for vacation, you know, we really liked it. We fell in love with the people, the people. What did you do that for? <laughs> because you're talking too much. But I was saying something in exciting about my affairs wow, with the tinkles here. Oh, me. trust me, it and wasn't that important. It's like, he didn't speak English. It's like, I'm like, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> like you carry me okay. across. Next. <laughs> Melanie. Happy Thank you for watching! Tune in next time and follow us on Facebook, IG, and TikTok. Everything! Thank you! Bye!